Hey everybody, Pastor Chris here. I'm standing in, in a lion enclosure in at Caddyshack Ranch and Sanctuary that is the home for many exotic animals such as Siberian tigers and cougars, spotted and black leopards, among other things, African lions. You know, the lion's den is the electric chair of Daniel's day. It was absolutely a place where people were uh, sent to be executed because every lion's jaw is lined with 30 teeth. In the front are massive four inch canines that make up for one killer bite. The back teeth of the lion's jaw never meet. Instead, they slide right past each other like a powerful set of scissors. A lion's jaw has over 600 pounds of pressure when it bites. Weighing about 550 pounds, it only takes one encounter with a lion to face certain death. Surviving a night inside the lion's den was a physical impossibility. So have you ever been there? In an impossible situation and thrown into circumstances that you just simply can't help. And like Daniel, having a rock rolled over the only way of escape. You may be down and discouraged about your situation because you can't see any light in your situation. Perhaps you're in a den of depression or a den of despair. Or maybe you, like Daniel, feel like the, that your only way out has been covered up by a rock. If the only way out of your situation is covered by the rock, then you need to know that you're in the safest place that you can be. because. When the enemy starts telling you, you're not gonna make it out of this situation, you're not gonna make it through this situation, you need to respond by saying, hey, I'm covered by the rock. When you're facing possible odds and impossible situations, you need to say, hey, I am covered by the rock. When the enemy surrounds you like hungry lions, you need to say, hey, I am covered by the rock. When sickness tries to come against your body, you need to say, hey, I am covered by the rock. You are covered by the rock. And the reason that I don't see any light in my situation right now is because I am hiding under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say that you are my God and my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom will I fear. You know, if you're in a den today and it seems that it's too dark to bear, you need to know that you are covered by the rock of ages. You're in the shadow of his almighty hand. And he said, I will not let no plague come near your dwelling. He said that no matter who rises up against you, they will not succeed. So what do you do if you're in the lion's den? The Bible actually gives us instruction in the New Testament about what to do. First Peter chapter five, verse six says, humble yourself therefore under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all of your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind, for your enemy prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, stand firm in the faith, and he will flee from you. So what do you do when you're in the lion's den? Well, first of all, you have to humble yourself before God. God always responds to humility. Humble yourself, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. You know, if you lift God up and you humble yourself, God is gonna lift you up and lift you out of your den of your dilemma. Number two, give all of your anxiety to Him. First Peter says to give all your anxiety to Him because He cares for you. If you're going to get out of your pit, then you've got to give God what gets you down. You've got to give up to God what brings you down. Sometimes, we're all good at holding on to our fears and letting go of our faith. But if you wanna get out of your pit, you've gotta to learn to let go of your fears and hold on to your faith. And the reality is fear is the dark room where all of our failures begin to develop. Number three, be alert in your mind. You know, if you're going to get out of the pit, then you've got to have your mind alert. Why? Because the Bible says that the devil roams around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Our mind is where we win and lose all of our battles. Our mind makes or breaks our destiny. 
It seals our fate with failure or it seals our future with faith. The Bible tells us that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Now it's important to note that the Bible doesn't say that the enemy is a roaring lion. It says he's like a roaring lion. You know, so much of the time, the enemy can only bring counterfeit over and over again. He's not a lion, but he's like a lion. He roars like a lion. The Bible's clear that Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And oftentimes in the wild, lions will, when they approach their prey, roar intensely. That roar is something that grips the heart of its prey and immobilizes them with fear. And that's the enemy's goal in your life and mine, is to immobilize us with fear. And so that's why it's imperative that we do not allow our lives to be immobilized by fear. Number four, resist him and stand firm. When you resist him and you stand firm, then the enemy will flee from you. You know, one of the things they tell you if you run into a lion in the wild is to never turn your back on them. Likewise, we must stand firm in knowing what God has said about us and about our situation. And if you resist, you will persist. But if you give in, then you're done in. You know, when we first started talking today inside of the lion's den here, I gotta admit, it was a little unsettling to be in here without any lions, but I think I'm comfortable enough now to let the lions in. So, hey guys, go ahead, open the gate. Whoa. I tell you what, guys, if you can get me out of here right now, that'd be awesome. Guys, guys, 